What's cracking, guys? Bruce Madsen here, your host of Metro Scout Fantasy Football. I got more workout clips for you. As you know, I've been collecting clips all off season, getting you ready for the real season. So we are prepped. We know what these players are doing. We know what they're looking like with their new uniforms, or we're just bored and we just want to watch some guys run around with their shirts off, make some plays and t-shirts and shorts or whatever from mini camp, OTAs, whatever it is that's happening. And today I got one of Robbie Anderson. This clip I found on social media, I think from the Panthers account. I'm not for sure. I forget. I just grab him and go. But big news from him. Big news for him. Baker Mayfield is now going to be their quarterback. We all know about this. It's been beaten to death. Transitioning is going to happen. Offense is going to be different. And let's see how this is going to play out. Let me know in the comments what you think about Baker Mayfield going to the Panthers. Good, bad, or ugly. Right now, we're going to look at this clip from Robbie Anderson. And I blew this up a little bit because it was a little fuzzy. You did not look great. It's a quick five-second guy. So here's him working on his footwork. Boom, plant step drive. Ball comes up. Good hand placement from what I see. This is pretty much the Patterson footage for Bigfoot. It's that blurry here. But good feet, plant step, ball coming in. High pointing it a little bit as it's coming. Hits his hands, brings it down. Robbie Anderson, new quarterback. No Sam Darnold, or maybe, maybe some Sam Darnold. We don't know. We don't know for sure. Baker Mayfield could spice things up a little bit. Is he going to give you elite play? Probably not. Is he going to give you an uptick? Maybe. I'm very conservative with quarterbacks. I'm all about price with them. Longevity. And honestly, if I got a good quarterback and I have to pay up for him in fantasy to have him for the long term, a little bit, not too much, I might do it just so I don't have to worry about these situations when my quarterbacks just go to hell or have these transition periods. Again, Cleveland is a organization I don't trust as much either. Mayfield was hurt all last year. That's the narrative you could spin. He could turn things around. I'm very interested in DJ Moore. When I look at my rankings over at DLF, I was very bullish on DJ Moore to begin with, so it was very hard to move him up even more. Definitely did not move him down. And I feel like DJ Moore is going to be on the Brandon Cooks archetype of career because it's going to be five years from now or whatever. It'll be like 29, 30 years old. And I'll be like, damn. DJ Moore's still in the league. He's still having some productive seasons. And we don't see him falling off really soon. We're just waiting for him to fall off. But it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And I feel like it's just going to sneak up on us. And all that time, he's just being on our fantasy teams, doing things for us. However, on the short term, while we're in the bubble, we're wanting more. However, he's giving us longevity. You cannot replace that. You don't get that often. And he'll probably have his blow-off top seasons. He'll probably have his down seasons. I think he's just that type of wide receiver that's going to give you longevity, good play, good production, but not what the masses are wishing for. And if it does, it's probably going to be here and there. And that's going to be my the I told you so moments. But I really like longevity in players, and especially wide receivers. Robbie Anderson here. I feel like he might have some time left, but I think the, the door's closing in on him. I, this might be a year where he can string things together. Terrace Marshall is so cheap in fantasy that why not? It's so cheap he's free. I'm not even saying he's a buy. He's just like you just kind of like get him for like nothing for pebbles. And he's that cheap. And really, um, it's kind of like the Denzel Mims effect on him. I, I probably need to do another video on Terrace Marshall just talking about him. But since Denzel Mims fell off so hard and so fast, Terrace Marshall, people are scared of that happening to him. I understand. I understand. But when you chase some price tags and you're just buying at dips and you keep buying dips, you understand that those dips are going to hit the ground some and some are going to come back up. And that's just part of the game. But when the dips are so low, this, there's no there's no sunk cost there. So you got to think about that in fantasy. Carolina Panthers fans, I know I probably really went over the top of your heads with some of this fantasy football talk. But let me know what you think about any of these players. Baker Mayfield, Robbie Anderson, Terrace Marshall, DJ Moore. 
Let me know what you think. I'm bullish on DJ Moore. Robbie Anderson, I've liked throughout his career, but I know the end is probably coming sooner than later. Terrace Marshall, fantasy football-wise, the price is there. The price is there where you can do whatever you want. It's not You can't really sell him for anything, so whatever it is. Let me know what you think about him, though. If you've seen anything from Terrace, since you probably watch more games, more footage than a lot of other people. Fantasy football aficionados, what are you doing with this offense? What are you doing long-term, short-term, whatever? Are you buying in? you selling? Whatever. Hit it in the comments. Make sure you smash that like button on the way out. Really helps the video on the algorithm. And also hit that subscribe button because I got more clips coming at you. Whether it's a big clip of a guy making an amazing grab or a guy just drinking water or a guy running circles with his shirt off. I got it here. If I find it, I'll post it. I'll cover it. I'll do what I can. And it'll help somebody out because they want to see their players in the offseason working out, doing their thing. But I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next.